and welcome to AY Sugar Niger Lifestyle channel. My name is AY Sugar. Welcome to another amazing time. Thanks to those who just subscribed. Yeah, welcome to the family. And uh, lots of videos already made for you, over 30 of them. So please feel free to scroll through, check the video and the playlist, and you'll see, and I'm sure you enjoy all the videos already uh, created, you know, just for your watching pleasure welcome once again i'll be uh, talking about something very interesting for the guys of course for the guys it's all about the guys now so it's about men's style rules yeah what's up with us what and what do we need to know that we need to put in check and we need to you know always do so well i've got seven of them but we'll talk about it after the short break yeah i'll be right back stay with me <music> Hello and welcome to EY Sugar Niger Lifestyle channel. Yeah, my name is EY Sugar and we'll be talking about men and lifestyle. Welcome from the break. Now let's quickly hit the road and let's move with utmost speed yeah the first one is choosing classic over trends yeah because well that's just the right thing to do you want uh, to look at what trends you know what is trendy at the moment you know the kind of dressing the kind of appearance uh, the kind of uh, look uh you know uh maybe the hairdo or whatever you know yeah they will always come what's involved what's happening yeah let me look this way because that's how everybody's looking but one thing is constant is of course if you have a particular suit classic always can stand and can pass any time you talk about your hairdo if it's afro or whatever you're thinking about well there is a constant classic look that every guy should just embrace if going for a different kind of hairstyle depending on what you actually have in mind, you know, but like I said, the classic will stand over, you know, the trendy stuff that will come and go every now and then. And at the end of the day, you know, you can do experiments and all, but just stay with the classic kind of way, you know, you want to knot your tie and the kind of color, you know, you want to pick the blue or the red or the ox blood, you know, which are those classic colors. But we've got check kind of um, ties these days. We've got different designs these days. Very interesting, really very very interesting to know that yeah we can check them out and all but you have to just uh, try to keep you know with the classic things and definitely will be the right to, right way to go talk about even how to wear your wristwatch a lot of people want to wear it in the very dominant and and uh, you actually maybe at one time or another hit it somewhere because you you know use your hand the right hand most of us are right-handed in the world today and we use more of it so certainly you have to ha shake somebody or these days like this you have to um, uh, use it to write you have to use it to do so many things but that's the reason classic the left part you have your wristwatch here and of course it's less dominant so many things you don't need to do with your left hand so that's why we have wristwatches there but yeah it's good to have a change a bit especially if the crown is on the left if the crown that's the crown of your wristwatch is on the left yeah you can put it on your right hand and it's going it's okay and it can pass you know uh, in the past we've had uh, customized wristwatches really you know that lots of guys wore in their right hand they were specially made for them and they had a crown you know on the left for them but not when you have the crown on the right and you now still have it this way then are you going to control it it's going to be very difficult so you have to put your hand this way you know to control your you know wristwatch sometimes when you want to set the time and all that you know so that's the reason yeah, in case you don't know, but it is just good to maintain the classic over the trendy stuff which come and go every now and then and uh, we just would use for that time and forget. But when you keep your classic style, it keeps you constant and makes you always stylish. That's number one for me. Number two, always, always, and I will always do that. Go with high quality or higher quality other than good quality or even quantity come on who goes for quantity in modern world man what am i going to use all of them all stocked up different colors and uh <laughs> at the end of the day it fades away at the end of the year just a scratch here you know it tears off and all that come on who does that go for the highest quality if you can if you cannot go for higher quality of stuff it will help you and save you you know 
the many times you want to go shopping, you know, for yourself. Maybe you get a particular kind of suit or you got a particular kind of wristwatch. If you go for the very, very durable, very high quality ones, they stand the test of time. They will always be there and it will save you a lot of money that you will always go out to go get another set of quantity, you know, that you will dump somewhere again. At the end of the day, you give it out or they fade off and you go again for another one. Come on, how long are we going to continue doing that? So, yeah, you may not have all the money like some big guys will always do but if you save and plan and say okay i want to get this particular restore it's about 200 dollars so i'm going to save for it that's 200 dollars in nigerian currency it's about 40 or i'm sorry about 80 000 naira. but i like the wristwatch it's going to stay as good as designers oh it's um what what are the names now it's uh it's a siemens or it is um uh quads or it is um um a rolex wristwatch or it's an apple iWatch, whatever it is well i think i want to go with it and i can always you know use it every now and then and it's durable it's fine it's okay it can pass anytime any day so come on yeah you can go for that and that would be very very cool than for you to always always go for that bad shoe and you pack them all loaded and you have over 20 or 30 of them but at the end of the day one day you're just going out it's gone come on guys higher quality over quantity and good quality that should be your way that makes you stylish every now and then makes you stand out every now and then anytime you bring out that suit that you got for three four hundred five hundred dollars or even more anytime you wear it you put it on guy you go stand out normally normally so always go for that for me now let's go straight up to number three know your measurements every now and then you know because sometimes you can add some weight you know you can gain weight sometimes you lose some you know and we're not stable so what if you've lost weight and uh, you're trying to get a new you know material made by your teller and he doesn't know because he's using uh the old measurements which are you very heavy and big and all that and he puts it out and at the end of the day it doesn't really fit what stands any guy out tell anybody i said so is the fitted you know attire when you put it on it's just like it was made for you from heaven and i love to always come out that way and i i'm sure a lot of guys who are stylish who know what's up you know will always want to agree with me on this particular table that it is always good we go with the fitted stuff and not the very tight stuff or not the very bogus stuff so you go for the right stuff and that's why you should always every now and then check out your new measurement and know what and what will get into your body you know and uh, you'll be cool for those really doing a whole lot of press offs doing exercises maybe you've you know broadened your shoulder a bit you need to check it out and know what's up and that always 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 do that check it out every now and then you know with your tailor or your fashion designer as the case may be or whoever you know gets your clothes made and that's number three for me now let's roll up all to number four keeping your clothes in good condition you can't spend so much money like you have done like i have done and have these clothes not well taken care of we've had that problems even most of the laundry guys we actually give our clothes to don't use the right detergent or the right bath soap you know to wash them and at the end of the day you find them fading off very fast but that's why you should be very curious about how your laundry guy you know what he uses you know to wash at all and don't just ignore and you know clothes that you actually have spent so much money to procure you find out that at the end of the day it's losing all the all the glamour all the beauty and everything because the man has been using the wrong you know soap for it you know and he's not even taking good care of it yeah he'll package it and give it to you and you also you know, we'll not even treat the clothes well. Maybe you wear it once and uh, you feel that I don't wear it once. Well, I think it's not white, so I should, oh, I, I should just quickly wash. You know, some of them may be worn twice and all that. You know, depending on how you wore them or how dirty, you know, it, it was after you actually used them. But you have to know how to ensure that your clothes are well kept and you keep them very well. Pamper them if you can, especially when you know you've spent so much money. So you don't just, you know, treat them badly and at the end of the day it gets worn out to get torn and uh, the whole idea of having the right clothing and the expensive one is totally defeated that's number four for me now let's roll up up to number five what is number five discard the trash you've got a clothes that you actually like and all that but at some point it got stained and the stain just did not go off you gave it to your laundry guy he used jig he used every other you know uh, detergent or whatever to get it off it did not go off what else come on the next thing you have to just pack with it you may actually you know think that everything is cool and one day you find out that all the other clothes are totally 
um, used and dirty and you have to fall you know you even forget the next thing you put on this clothes and it drops your confidence out there because it is just not your stuff and it is not just the way you operate but that's why you have to discard the trash the ones that are torn you know sometimes you check the armpit uh be careful you know what you put on every other day check yourself properly before you step out now when you get out and you now find yourself you know in a mess i've had that issue before one of my you know shirts that i really like one day i was just at work i rolled it up here yeah i've been using the clothes and quite good quality but at some point in, i just needed to part with it but i didn't heed and that day just gave away like oh my god i had to go get <laughs> get another shirt that day to get on now that's it so you must know when you know to part with such and uh, stay away from them get them out and move on to get new ones yeah number six for me keep your face all groomed a lot of us really don't take good care of our faces the first thing everybody and anybody will see and that will stay in the mind of that personality or that person is your face so that's why if the ladies can spend all the time to get all the makeups in the world to look beautiful to look wonderful to keep that look in your mind then the guys you should also do that and you're not going to really buy makeups you're not going to wear you know the uh, mac or whatever name they call it mascara crazy names you know but you're just going to walk on your face you go to a spa or you buy a scrub or even diy it yeah i'm going to teach you that how to you know get that scrub you know to have a smooth beautiful wonderful handsome face yeah, you may look cool, you may smell nice, but that will not register like your face. Every time you want to remember you, yeah, maybe the girls or, you know, the personalities, it is your face they will deal with. So don't say it doesn't really matter, I've got the girls, I've got the money, and I think I don't need to worry. You need to worry, my brother. You need to totally worry and ensure that you look cool all the time, especially your face. If you want to go, you know, the bad gang like me, you go the bad gang. Well, you know, groomed well, nice. You know, every time you ensure that it's well cut, comb it and it's fine. And uh, if you want to go with the round stuff, you go with the round stuff. Cool, nice, great. And if you want to go with the mustache, you go with it. Or you don't want to go with anything. Cool. What goes or suits you should, you know, suit you. But definitely not just end that way. You need to use the right cream. You need to use the right scrub for your face every now and then. Check it out and don't, don't joke with it. Don't leave your face totally all bedded up and uh, well looking very unkept and come on i don't want to talk about it some guys really annoy me the last one now is use the right fragrance appear wonderful appear expensive appear nice like you know what's up and all but at the end of the day always always wear cologne get your deodorant you know in the morning and also get the right fragrance if you do that guy you totally would understand that you are the guy. You don't need you don't need so much to explain yourself. Your presence, your aura, your courage, your charisma, your style will speak a whole lot for you. You know wherever you get to. So you get the right cologne. There are many of them that guys can afford, and you guys can really afford 20, 30 k. That's uh, almost a hundred dollars or even more. You can get those designers and always, always smell nice. I got into a conversation. I don't want to talk about it because, <laughs> well, but I think it's the right thing, you know, to do to always get that cologne, get the perfume and uh, just have them all mixed up, looking very good uh, and smelling very good. Just the right way to go. Well, I've done my bit. I'm sure you can pick one or two from this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Turn on the notification bell for more videos. And uh, definitely, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay styled, man. Stay different. Stay special. Stay cool. Smell nice. That's the way to go. We guys must rock. We rule. And we must show it. Certainly. Peace out. Bless up. Bye-bye. AY Sugar signing off.